Hello everyone! I hope everybody is having a wonderful Saturday. I'm having a pretty good Saturday myself. We're gonna look at the game from Isle of Man tournament. It is Gawain Jones with white and Levan Ronian with black. Before we go on to the game, I'm going to show you a little puzzle. So if you can solve it, you know, just uh, put the answer in the comment. So we have a nice picture. What is this picture of? If you know the answer, just, you know, leave it in the comments. Okay. Small quiz for you. Okay. Before going on, uh, I want to introduce you to my talk. Let's check out the talk cam. Looks like talk is having a quiet day. What for Saturday for the talk? But okay. So, let's check out this game. This is from uh, chess.com Isle of Man. Gawain Jones with the white pieces and Levon Aronian with the black pieces. So let's see the game. We have e4 by Jones. e5. Knight f3. We have knight c6. And bishop c4 now. Bishop c5, Italian game. c3 and knight f6. And now most of the time we have d3 in the top tournaments, you know, Gioco Pianissimo, quite Italian, you know. But here Cohen played d4, attacking the bishop. This is how they used to play it back in the day, you know. He takes d4 and e5 now, attacking the knight. If the knight doesn't move, we take it. d5. Hang on a minute, the knight didn't move, but we're not gonna take it. Because our bishop is attacked. If we now take on d6, en passant, it looks cool, but queen takes. Then castles. Good possession for black. So we play bishop b5. Knight is attacked, so the knight moves, knight e4, and we have c takes d4. Attacking the bishop, and the bishop pulls back, keeping the pressure on, on the d4 pawn. Knight c3. Press it in the center, and also we don't mind if black takes. He didn't take a castle, but if he takes, b takes c3. We secure a center, we have a nice punching. That makes the bishop bad here as well. So let's put another color on him, right? Yes. So we have knight c3, short castles by Aronian, bishop e3, and bishop g4. Pinning the knight, but White asks the question, where does the bishop want to go? Bishop h5, and now queen c2, unpinning. Black played bishop g6. You do not want to take on f3 because, you know, we take with the pawn, and then probably we just castle queenside and get a nice attack here on uh, the juicy g file. So Aronian played bishop g6, lining up against the queen, and now queen b3, putting pressure on d5. Also a very nice line here if black plays f5. Securing the knight, if pawn takes, knight takes. Now we have a little trap, we can take on d5. A nice little trap, but Aronia is not falling for this, bishop c4. Skewer. So we have bishop g6, queen b3, and knight e7 now. We want to play c6. He's already protecting the pawn. We'll protect it further with c6 and try to get this bishop here back into the game. Short castles now. We have c6 and the bishop moves back. And now we have the first new move of the game. Aronian played king h8. Knight d2 is also a good move. Well, it's actually a better move because here at least black has the bishop here, you know, nice position. But in the game, Aronian played king h8, and, well, what can I tell you about this move? Yeah. Computer doesn't like this move, knight h4, it says white is better. We have c5 now, big tension in the center, you know, so we just scroll forward, knight takes g6 check, you know, bishop pair. 
and now bishop takes e4 and now we have massive complication c takes d4 what's going on here to be honest i'm not so sure let's check out with the dog what's going on doggy any ideas timmy nope no input from the dog so back to the game uh, Go and Jones took with the knight on d5 here. And now, complications. Aronian took with the knight on d5. If it takes on e3, we take on d6. You do have this vision zook, but we just take. And eventually you're going to run out of moves. Let's say you take here. I can take and take on b6. I'm up a pawn. Well, I can also maybe take on f2. But Maybe we can uh, even play here, knight takes a8. Something I thought of just now. I'm not sure. Could be some danger here. But we can also just play king takes f2. And should be good for white. So we're only took with the knight on d5. But now bishop d2. And now white has this nice pair of bishops. Knight f4. Aronian trying to get an attack on the queen side, king side, my apologies. And here, sacrificing the exchange. So Aronian trying to get uh, an attack. But now Gawain will defend very well. He plays e6 first, keeping the pawn for now, bishop c7. And now Aronian wants to use this diagonal here to try to keep checkmate. King h1. And queen e5. Now we just need a square for the knight. Bishop takes b7 and knight takes e6. Unfortunately for Aronian, Gawain saw the threat and he played g3. Knight c5 now, but no simple chess. White is off material. Pawns are equal, but he's off the exchange, so why not try to uh, exchange pieces? Queen to d5. Rook d8 now. We have strings of queens. Attacking the bishop, the bishop retreats. Bishop c6 and d3. So this is the only trump for Ronian, but the bad news is that this pawn is easily covered. You can always play bishop to f3 and cover the queen square and you have no problems. And what's worse is that white can simplify even further. You're off material, so simplify. Rook e8 check takes. Bishop takes b2. Okay, black gets one pawn here, but the most important thing is that we have decrease the number of pieces on the board and now we're attacking this pawn <coughs> excuse me g6 rook b8 and now rook d8 containing the pawn and now first we will contain the pawn with the bishop bishop to e2 covering uh, the queen square so this frees the rook and now first restricting the king and now we want to bring our own king to cover the pawn. Knight e6, rook d7 first, and now king g2. And the king is simply coming into e2 here. And now we can start activating this bishop. So nicely placed by nicely played by Gawain. We have g4, hg, hg, bishop to b3, knight c5, and rook d5 check. King to e4. A rook to g5 now. So we're trying to get a pawn here. We're going to succeed. Last stage trick here by Aronian he took on f2. And the idea is, of course, if we take now, then all of a sudden we're in trouble. Although maybe not too much trouble. Or, oh, oh okay, there's a, there's a nice, nice win here. But of course, what can. No, he can't really flick anything in. So, yeah, that's, that's a trap. I think, but uh, Aronian, uh, Gawain simply avoided this, he played bishop c2 check, you know, king t4, and I'll pause the video and find the final move here for, uh, for Gawain Jones, and if you solved it, congratulations, you're an excellent uh, problem solver, but if you just want to enjoy the show, uh, Let's ask Demi. Demi, did you see the move? Demi. 
always sleeping. Okay, so here Gawain played rook takes e5. It resulted excellent, you were an excellent problem solver. And here Aronian resigned the game because, well, if you take, I simply take covering queen square, I will win your pawn. And that's all she wrote. So nice win by Gawain and sets him up nicely for the last round in the Isle of Man tournament. So yeah, that was the game. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.